Here are the three most common ways to get started when working in the round. For my first example, I'm going to make a slip knot and chain two, and then I'm going to put six single crochet directly into that first chain. This method works best for single crochet or half double crochet. You could use it for double crochet, but you'd have to adjust the number of chains you do at the beginning. But the wonderful thing about this method is, if you're using single or half double crochet, you have the option to work into a continuous spiral. And that's what it looks like. Now this next method works best for double crochet. I'm going to chain 5 and then I'm going to make a slip stitch into the very first chain to make a ring. That ring is going to give me plenty of space to put as many double crochet in there as I'd like. And it's also how you would start a granny square. After you make that slip stitch, you just have to chain as many as you would at the beginning of a regular row. So for half double crochet, um, it would either be two or three chains, and you can work those directly into the circle. As a rule of thumb, I like to do two to three stitches per chain um, of the circle. So here I did five chains, so I would put anywhere from 10 to 15 double crochet into the circle in order to make it all the way around. The more stitches you use, the flatter it's going to be. The less stitches you use, the more of a cone shape it's going to have, but that's what it's going to look like. Now for this last method, it's how to get rid of that gap in the center. And the best way to do that is to make a magic ring or a magic loop. This video isn't really to show you how to make the magic loop, um, it's just to give you the three most common options. I do have a video on how to do the magic loop, at least on how I do it. I'm pretty sure there's other methods out there, but this one is the most similar to how I make my slip knot. And if you have any questions about it, I'm glad to answer them or show you a different way to do it. But this is just supposed to be a quick video and I don't want to make it too long. But to close the magic ring, you would just take the short end here and you can pull it and there's no more gap. So there you go. Happy hooking!